The Bearcats defeat Tulsa 1-0 in the regular season finale here at Gettler Stadium. We're joined on Bearcats TV by head coach Neil Stafford. And coach, you guys end the regular season on a high note. You get the win. But more importantly, I know for your program, this the third time in 13 years that your team has had a winning season. But more importantly, it's two in the last three. And things have really started looking up here since you took over. Yeah, well, I mean, certainly uh, I appreciate that, but I mean, it goes down to so many people. Um, you know, Nate Lee, I mean, he's my right hand man, and Matt Kozanuk, and then, you know, there are coaches uh, that have come before, um, and a lot of them have something to do with uh, how this regular season has ended. Um, but we're just so proud of the women, uh, how they've responded to adversity, and the fact that uh, obviously we've got, uh, you know, even more wins than last year on the season now. So overall, just Really, really pleased with the way we've ended, uh, but no time to sort of celebrate. we got to start getting ready for uh, Dallas. So you guys finish with one more conference win than you did last year in the first time since 2001 and 2002. You finish with back-to-back 10-win seasons. What's been the key for you to sort of building this up here over the last couple of years? Honestly, the support has just been magnificent. You know, I, I think first and foremost to recognize the investment that's been made into women's soccer and how they've helped our athletes get better. And then, you know, you, you bring in the likes of uh, Donna Fister, who her leadership um, consulting has really, really, I think, energized us. Um, I think we've got even more of a foundation, uh, a culture, an environment that we're trying to create here. And um, just people are really believing in what we're doing. And, um, you know, I've got, I probably don't have enough time to thank so many people that are involved, but, you know, my staff, uh, our trainers and everybody that's been involved thus far has really held uh, a, a key component to us being successful. Before the season, you were picked by the experts to finish ninth in the conference. You are picked to finish fifth in the coaches' poll. Your team winds up finishing fourth. You overcame a lot of adversity, but the belief you could always see in, in the players and your coaching staff was always there throughout the year. Yeah, I mean, you can see it out there today. I mean, I know our players are tired. Uh, at this time of the year, but they're giving it everything. And you, know, you see Jordan Kotler just be brave and put her head in. I mean, that's an example of why we are where we are today, is her sacrificing herself for the greater good of the program. And, you know, obviously now we don't have Jordan. Um, it's sad to say, but, I mean, this is what happens in Division One sports. And, you know, I, I, I'm just so proud of what she, her classmates, and everybody else have done. But that was a great example of why we are who we are now. Coach, one of the most special things about this program since you took over, this, your team has never lost here on a Sunday at Gettler. And uh, I know for you and your players, there's nothing like playing here at home in front of your fans. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat home cooking. I mean, um, you know, it, it, it's this is a great environment to play in, and we're blessed. I mean, we know the turf is a little bit different, you know. I mean, obviously we have to go play on grass, um, so that's a little different for us. But, you know, there's just something special about Gettler, about being at home, um, and it goes down to the people working the concessions. Uh, it goes down to the ushers. It goes down to everybody, um, Megan and operations. Everybody makes this place home for us, and uh, I can't thank them enough for their contributions uh, to our success. Talked about it. The regular season is over. You guys have the conference tournament next down in Dallas. Your team will be the fourth seed and a chance for your team to step up, keep improving, and, and really make a statement in, in a big game in the playoffs. It's just a completely different season now. Um, playoff season just has a different feel. And But I thought we got that on Friday night from Memphis, who uh, you know really pushed us and, and gave us a, an unbelievable test. Um, so I think we're going into Dallas uh, with a good frame of reference. Um, I know that Memphis game will sit in our thoughts down there a little bit, um, but we know that everybody – that advances is going to step up their game and we've got to step it up too. But um, I think what will be important now is, you know, sitting with Bob Mangine and, and Katie and really sit going over how we're going to recover um, for, you know, that final push, so to speak. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're sitting in a good spot right now and we're just getting better e every year. Right, Coach, well, we appreciate the time. Best of luck down in Dallas. Congratulations on a great, a great win and a great regular season. Thanks very much. Go Bearcats. We're joined by the winning goalkeeper, Sam Pavlika, here on Bearcats TV. And Sam, I know Friday night was a disappointing result for you guys, but you guys came out with a lot more intensity, a lot more emotion in this one. What was the biggest difference for you guys between today and Friday night? 
Uh, today we kind of we play like a team. On Friday we had some good individual performances, but like we like to play as a team. And today I think we played as a team. People took a lot of sacrifices. Like Jordan Cotler definitely went in there and was very courageous. Unfortunately, we have lost her for a lot of the season now with her fractured face. But um, I think today we played as a team, so that was very helpful for us. You get the clean sheet, another shutout for you and your team. What was working so well for you guys defensively today? Well, in the first half, we kind of were just we were kind of composed, but there were times where we were frantic. But in the second half, we just went for it and switched to a 4-4-2 to match up against their um, formation. And then I think we were just more organized. And there were times where there were spaces and gaps, but we had cover in behind. And so people were just very organized and movement, moving off the ball and covering and supporting. So that helped. You guys, obviously, it's been a story throughout the year. You've had a lot of injuries to a lot of important players, but you guys finished fourth in the conference. Talk about what it's been like overcoming all this adversity here through the regular season. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Like today, it's just everyone's like, wow, just our luck. But, you know, we come back from it and we just push through it. And people know that when someone gets injured, that it's their chance to step up. So, I mean, we've had plenty of people step up in place of the injured. So that helps. That's a lot of our help. And um, it's been a relentless grind through all of it. So. The regular season might be over, but the real season starts now. You guys have a conference tournament coming up a week from Tuesday down in Dallas. What do you guys need to, to do to be successful down there? Uh, play as a team for sure. Um, show up with our relentless grind. And then, I mean, just basically show up, give it our all every game. We have to leave everything on the field mentally and physically. So if we do that, we should come out with the result. All right, Sam, congratulations on the win and the clean sheet. We appreciate the time. Best of luck down in Dallas. Thanks. Go Bearcats.